Well then, that was unexpected. Turns out the Eater of Dreams is just impossible to hit. Lesson learned. Uh, not even this guy who hit him about, I don't know, over a hundred times. With 20 attack skill, nowhere near enough. Um, <laughs> Lesson learned. So, we've lost one of our thrones, not great. Uh, we are still technically the throne leader. Or to Kalem's three. Uh, five thrones to win. But that's pretty bad. So, first things first, I'm forging a bunch of attack items because <laughs> I'm not sure what else to do. Uh, we have some blood mages, including recovered extraterrestrial craft. So they're forging rings of the warrior. Um, yeah. So Carnage over here is forging one as well. If these guys, if these guys get attacked during the ritual phase, or during the horror phase, I should say, um, they can at least kill the horrors pretty easily. So they're just forging these rings to give our tarts five more attack skill, so that hopefully they can actually hit um, <laughs> Aegon. That was really uh, bad. Some of the rolls are pretty crazy. Hmm. I can also see Kalem slowly marching a stack through here. Uh, yeah, apparently he can't fly over water, but he can march towards us. Which is probably what's happening. So, all in all, not a great turn. Uh, still business as usual for us, though. Probably not going to march anyone's throne, though. I need to make sure our thrones can actually kill horrors, so... <laughs> it's going to take a minute and make sure... That uh, we buff our big guy's attack skill as much as possible. And then we'll see if this keeps moving towards us. Uh, so that was turn 89, not great. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I should also mention as well. Uh, yeah, I'm forging a new Tree Lord staff, and this um, fairy queen we got is holding a Tree Lord staff in order to become the worm that walks. So we'll have our, our nature image will be immortal in future if we want to keep uh, bringing out tarts, which we probably should. Anyway, see you on turn 90. Hello, welcome back. Uh, lots of people getting killed by horrors. More than usual. Uh, we do now have a worm mage who is immediately instigated by a horror, but you know, uh, she's immortal now, so we'll come back at least. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, uh, so that's all done. Our god and the worm mage are both dead now, unfortunately. Uh, we then got attacked again by the Abomination of Desolation, this time in, in Asia. So, not as bad. This guy only has 19 defense skill, unlike Aegon's, whatever it was, a 30 or something. Uh, was that you by any chance? Oh, maybe it was this one. Uh, yes, it was. Okay, the Tartarian Monstra. Okay, good job. Uh, so, defended that throne at least. Feels like the horrors are focusing on us. I wish they'd just eat someone else's throne. <laughs> uh, then we spied a battle between Calum and Van, and we caught a scout in Debrithia, which is our throne. Um, I assume you just attacked this. So Kalem's still just marching stuff towards us. A lot of mages, unfortunately. You guys put a, got a bunch of gems by any chance? Well, these guys don't. Might just be a Thunderstrike communion. Uh, yeah, I'll look at the map though. So, we can see Stack here. Uh, this Stack was the battle we just saw. And his god as well. And I'm pretty sure his god is an extremely powerful astral caster. Since they had um, strands up at one point, didn't they? Was that this game? This game started in June, by the way. Well, that's that's how. Oh my god, the boat is uh, is gone. Holy shit! <laughs> Farewell boat. Uh, yeah, this game's you know it's a long game. I'm pretty sure they had strands up at one point. So I think his god is a very powerful astral caster. Might not be good. 
Might just arrive here and cast Mass and Slave or something and just own us. I don't know. But uh, this is probably going to attack us soon. Maybe next turn. I don't know. So I'm going to try and defend this with as much stuff as I can, which isn't much. Um, unfortunately, every single good tart we have that can like teleport or cloud trap all went insane this turn. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess we could send this guy over. Give him a few more bits of gear. But yeah, and get rid of these gems now. You didn't get those paths. You got, um... Okay, uh, this this guy could uh, teleport over, for sure. Maybe I'll do that. Might, um... <laughs> see what other items I have for him. Uh, all the other guys can't really move, is the thing. Although... I'd need to give him a Moonblade so that he can kill the horror that attacks him. I mean, he'd probably kill a horror with this, right? I don't know. Point is, it's hard to move other stuff over to him. Like, this one went insane. This guy can't teleport or cloud trap. Um, this guy can't get there. She can't cloud trap. He went insane. This guy can move, at least. So, I can't move much stuff over here at the moment. I might teleport that other guy. I don't know. And again, this doesn't have many tarts, does it? Oh, it's got a few guys with Moonblades, it might be okay. It's got this big tart too. Um, you need the water booster? Or could I give you a... One of the uh, attack items? You do quick and self and that's it. No, you don't need the water booster. Do I have any left? I don't have any attack items left. Okay, I've given them all out already. <laughs> What's your attack skill? 15, 19 with the Moonblade? I probably gave a attack item to someone not very good, like you. Okay. Let's make sure you have a very high attack skill. 24. And yeah, maybe I'll teleport this guy over to this throne as well. But for the time being, all we really have is this. I bumped the PD up to 69. For better or for worse. It's junk PD, unfortunately, but... Uh, we have most of the usual guys. Gave this guy some different items. He's now a regen trampler with a shadow brand and a shield of the accursed. I don't know, maybe that's good. Uh, maybe he should not have this if he has this. I mean, let's just see how it goes. Uh, we don't really have many big spells we can do in this battle, is the thing. We've got three big earth mages. So I'm going to try and put up Thunderfen, which seems important against Kalem. Mass Flight, just in case there's no storm, but there's probably going to be a storm, right? And Fog Warriors. And then I'll also try and get up Rigor Mortis since we have at least two tarts in this battle. Maybe three if I teleport that other dude. A couple of Morrigans too. I got the Morrigans on attack immediately. They're on attack rear. Hopefully they still get blessed. Besides that, it's the usual stuff. I mean, Iron Will's probably still good from all these Earth Mages we have. Since um, the big Illahat of Fate is probably a big Astral Mage. But besides that, we don't really have many big mages we can do anything with, and nobody can really get over here very easily. Some people I'm not confident they could survive casting Cloud Trapeze. And uh, the Tarts all went insane or can't reach. So, yeah. I guess suffice it to say, I'll just watch the battle next turn if there is one. And if there isn't, maybe I can move more stuff over next turn. I am going to try and move this guy. Um... He's currently moving to Forest of Gila, and he should be able to get to Debrithia next turn if there's no battle yet. Because he might not be able to get the god all the way here in one turn. A big chassis, but this is a forest and a swamp, so... Who knows. Uh, anyway. Not much else to say besides that, to be honest. Just, uh, gonna see what happens here. If we're really lucky, a throne just gets eaten next turn, though, when we win. <laughs> uh, fingers crossed. But uh, yeah, that's that's it for the turn. Usual forging from our mindless forges. Uh, okay. If I wanted a TPU over, what could you really do? I could give you the weightless mail that I gave on to this guy. This guy's casting two spells and has no moral weapon, so I was trying to keep him safe. But let's see. If we give you that, what do you look like now? Do I have any spare anti-magic amulets anywhere, I wonder? Let's see. That's probably the best for you. You can cast regen on yourself. 
You could cast um, Magic Resistance on yourself as well. I mean, he'd be pretty useful. It would be cool to have a... Uh, maybe I just take yours. And your script would be yeah, Personal Regen, Resist Magic, yep. Yeah. That's probably it, right? Bog Warriors hopefully goes up. Mass Flight hopefully goes up, but let's... I guess just this is fine then. Do mirror image, I suppose. And attack rear. Alright, teleport over there. And hopefully you don't get killed by horrors. I mean, surely he can kill a horror with this gear, right? Unless he just happens to get attacked by, like, the Hunter of Heroes or something. But he has no horror marks, so... I don't think he would. Alright, looks good to me. Uh, maybe he should stay on attack largest, actually. Maybe that will... will prioritize the... The Ilaha if it's in the battle. Who knows? Anyway, that is it for turn 90. Uh, so let's just see what happens next turn. I think that's going to be the interesting turn. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. See you then. <laughs> Sorry, I was yawning as I said that. Just got up. Well guys, welcome back. Uh, I can't really build up the anticipation because you can see on the screen that, <laughs> that we won this turn. But uh, let's go through the turn anyway, you know, let's just see what happened. Uh, first up, last minute field goal claimed the Throne of Knowledge for Kalem. Uh, this throne was subsequently eaten by Scabiel, so <laughs> that led to our victory. Uh, but before that, we did some things, you know, we teleported some people around. Uh, interestingly, actual alien in a human costume didn't even get attacked for casting that, it's quite nice. Uh, lots of people then did get attacked, including lots of our Tards, who just got bodied, unfortunately. Uh, we have this big guy, who cannot be killed, but sort of like just <laughs> survives <laughs> for an endless amount of time, and then everything dies. So farewell to that dude. Uh, we also had recovered extraterrestrial craft. Surprisingly dies. Uh, is instantly paralyzed through 21 magic resistance. And then... Eventually get Soul Slayed through 21 Magic Resistance as well. So, not a good turn for our Tarts. Pretty bad, actually. Uh, they made a battle in Debrithia. So, Kalem did launch a bunch of junk at this throne immediately. Looks like his god is not here. Our Morrigans get vaporized by Pillars of Fire. <laughs> not great. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we handle the air release pretty well. We put a rigor mortis, so his mages go to sleep eventually. And then we have a ton of PD that's all mass flighted and fog warriored, and a couple of big thugs as well. Oh, you know, nice work. Managed to fend off that last-ditch effort to make a mess of our throne. Why are you so tough? You got items? No, just... I don't know. <laughs> a bunch of junk in the front, unfortunately. <laughs> mm, well, there we go. Uh, so there was the Brithia. Yeah. Nice try. Didn't really cost us much. Did lose all of our Morrigans, though, to that um, big alpha strike of Bills of Flame. A lot of kills going to our Ringmail Archer PD, too. That's quite good. <laughs> anyway, that was the last interesting thing that happened. We got hit by lightning, a couple of events, uh, worldwide events, is horror stuff. And, uh, yeah, only one was destroyed. We reign supreme. We are the Panzer Creator. So I'll view the history. But uh, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't have a great memory of uh, the early portions of this game. 
I do remember, yeah, we started on a weird location that was kind of hard to attack, to be honest. You know, you compare the border that <laughs> the Hellheim has with, like, Kalem, <laughs> compared to, like, this awkward way to attack us, and same for Hellheim, too. Yeah, but this game started in June last year. And it is finally over now. I think that's the longest game of Dominions I've been in in terms of real time. Although not tons. I don't really know what to say about what I'm seeing on the screen. Nobody really ran away with this game, did they? Everyone's still quite equal. In terms of size. I guess Caleb is getting pretty big. We had quite a lot of water that filled out our size, I suppose. Oh, Van Ham is getting quite bit as well. Oh, I guess uh, these two guys were warring for a while. They must have kept each other in check while we just kind of sat back and uh, got up to tots before taking some nearby thrones. Yeah, Van is huge. I didn't realize how big Van was, actually. Well, there we go. Anyway, there's the history. You can see how things ended up. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought Van was as big as they are. I think they struggled quite a lot through the game, though, because they were in wars a lot. Because I think I remember them saying on the Discord that they basically expended most of their force by the end of the game. Hmm. Anyway, there we go. Uh, end of the game. And my last game with Dominions 5. So, for those of you who stuck it out to the end, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, from this point on, it's going to be nothing but Dominion 6. I'm currently in a game of Dominion 6 as my pal home. And I think it's on like turn 21 at the moment, so... Probably another week or two and you'll start seeing the videos. Uh, but there we go, that was Button. So, I'd say I had fun, but... You know, <laughs> I don't really remember most of the game. I will say it was cool to get to play with Tots finally. Because I haven't really done that. We had quite a few Tartarians out. A lot of them were pretty cool as well. Not often you get to do that. As far as I understand it, um, I might be wrong, but I think in Dominion 6, Gift of Health no longer heals, heals Tartarians. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what I remember seeing someone said. So this might be the only time I, I ever get to <laughs> play with Tarts, to be honest. What's the other way you heal them? You have to like forge the chalice or something? Actually, come to think of it, I think someone said that I was wrong about the chalice and the chalice doesn't heal Tarts. So then how do you heal Tartarians now? <laughs> maybe I was wrong about Gift of Health not working on them anymore, maybe that was... <laughs> maybe that was wrong. <laughs> um, you know, either way. <laughs> maybe I'll find out one though. Uh, yeah, but that was Bun, and that was Dominion 5. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, if you have watched all the way to the end, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. And if you'd like to support me in continuing to make these videos, I have a Patreon linked in the description below, where you can support me for as little as £1 a month. Uh, and there are no perks to the Patreon, it's just to support me. <laughs> Although, I guess you get your name in RimWorld <laughs> games, and... Um, you can vote on games I play in streams. <laughs> but uh, yeah, sorry, I'm bad at YouTube stuff still. I don't even know how to say this stuff, but there we go. That's the end of the series. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in Dominion 6. <laughs> <laughs>